Dear colleagues, my name is Jeroen van der Hoven. I'm a professor of ethics and technology at Delft University of Technology. And I'm sorry that I cannot be with you in person to discuss the airport of the future. I think the fact that you have sought input from a wide variety of disciplines, including ethics of technology and innovation, is admirable. And it's exactly what is needed at this stage. I commend you for having launched the project along the, these lines. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to draw your attention to a couple of ideas that I believe are important in our thinking about the concept of the innovation airport that you have been working on. Research in innovation is booming. Thousands of scholars and professionals have turned into innovation experts in the last decade and they study the legal and fiscal and cultural and psychological and socio-economic conditions that are conducive to innovation and make recommendations on how to be more innovative, understandably. For innovation may bring a lot of good things to society, but it is important to bear in mind that innovation is not a good in itself. History provides many examples of innovations and new technologies that have had serious negative consequences. Delft has played an important role in the Netherlands and in Europe to promote the idea of responsible innovation. And as a result of Delft contributions, responsible innovation is now part of the Dutch innovation system, the so-called top sectors, and a part of the EU R&D program Horizon 2020, which has allocated roughly 500 million euros for this type of research. Responsible innovation in a broad sense refers to reflection, analysis and public debate concerning the moral acceptability of new technology and innovation and it implies among other things that we must be willing to pose and answer questions proactively such as are our efforts in applied science, technology and engineering likely to somehow contribute to the solution of the big problems of our age, the sustainable development goals let's say. And are we proceeding in a responsible way to arrive at our solutions? Are we not creating other and greater problems in our attempts? Can technical solutions be shaped so as to accommodate the plurality of moral and societal values and the needs of all parties affected? A central idea of responsible innovation is that innovation or invention should preferably be focused on addressing societal challenges and our urgent global problems in health, energy, mobility, water, climate and the quality of life. And there is uh, much to say about responsible inno innovation. Uh, we don't have the time for that, but I will focus on two important features. Ethics is construed as being in part about design. And secondly, it is radically multidisciplinary and it requires a systems of systems perspective. To start with design. Responsible innovation takes a design approach to ethics. In a world that is designed from A to Z, designs can and ought to be morally evaluated and vice versa. Ethics can and should be undertaken in a design mode. One could even argue that ethics in the age of high technology that does not specify in greater detail how the world should be designed is gratuitous, it's impotent and irrelevant. It needs to connect to where the rubber hits the runway in the 21st century, and that is technology engineering in a broad sense. Deliverables of research in responsible innovation are those characteristically designs or concrete proposals of how problems can be solved. Our moral values often come into conflict. Efficiency, economic growth, safety, security, sustainability, individual autonomy, privacy, transparency, well-being and health. We feel under so many obligations, yet we are morally overloaded. And the hallmark of true innovation is that it provides a way out of situations of conflicting moral requirements and moral overload. Clean tech and sustainable technology offer solutions to a choice between economic growth and the environment. Privacy enhancing technologies offer solutions to a choice between privacy and IT functionality. We have collated long lists of examples of very smart and clever solutions to such value tensions. A storm surge barrier that generates tidal energy, a nano-coated lamp that has the energy efficiency of an LED, and the warm glow of a traditional bulb. Tarmac that is safer, that reflects light better and is noise reducing. 
situations where it looks as if there is no way to satisfy all of our moral values of sustainability and safety and security. A responsible innovation thus takes the shape of a clever design that allows us to eat our cake and have it. It helps us to expand the set of moral obligations that we can satisfy to our fo fellow citizens and to the future generations. In order to do all of this, we need to be able to design for social and moral values and use our values as non-functional or supra-functional requirements and assess our designs and plans in light of these special requirements. Delft University of Technology has just launched a new institute called Delft Design for Values, together with four faculties that are taking part in it. And as scientific director of that institute, I would welcome collaboration with all of you on responsible innovation and design for values and the airport of the future. The second idea I would like to draw your attention to and implied in this notion of responsible innovation is the radical multidisciplinarity and the need for what we have started to refer to as comprehensive engineering. If our thinking about innovation is about systems designs in light of a range of societal and moral values, then the second point is that in order to do a good job at that, we need to draw upon a range of disciplines in applied science and technology and engineering, in social and behavioral science, including economics, and in the humanities, such as ethics and law. Furthermore, the findings from all of these relevant fields need to be brought into a coherent and integrated picture. Regulation and governance, safety and security, human factors, incentive structures, liability regimes, insurance, taxation, they all need to be aligned with ideas about sustainability, safety and security. And in turn, the new technology, both the hardware and the software, operations research, construction and built environment, urban planning, need to harness and accommodate these in turn. No airport of the future without efforts in comprehensive engineering, I would suggest. No airport of the future without our best efforts at responsible innovation. I look forward to exploring these ideas with you in the near future. Thank you very much.